spoon wet here and I'm with absolute O Linux. Um, now the problem is, ah, no, that one, that one did work. Let's do it again. Now my background is stretch white fit. All right, that didn't work at all. All right, they did not think this true. We'll I'll do that one, and we'll say stretch. All right. You see this line here? That's what annoys me. Well, anyway, uh, the first time you boot up, you get this. Make Google Chrome the default browser. Fine. Um. Oh no. Oh, that's cool. Um. Yeah, it's, it's fine by me. Um, sounds good. Right. The Chrome YouTube downloader. Cool. Welcome to Absolute. Oh well, it's set language. I already did that. Add user accounts, don't need to tweak your stream size, already did that, install optional multimedia packages. Uh, that's something I would like to do. I was there just now. It feels a bit... Yes, go. It, I don't know, it feels a bit dated, this one. Um, I don't like the look of it, but that's something I don't like. Oh, it's being compiled. It takes about a half hour. Thanks. Thanks for for this then. Gonna do other stuff in between because I'm not gonna wait sit a half hour here and look at this. Okay, thank you. Alright, anyway, you got this is your file browser. I mean the aesthetic of this here I'm quite fine with it actually. It's not really that ugly. It's not. It looks a, a bit dated for some reason, especially because you don't have a select going with you. You know, you only have this. But but it's alright. But this here, I don't like at all. Like if you, this perfectly fits into the the cool gray grayish theme without it being really boring actually to look at. But the menu as well. I mean, if they could change that. And this bar at the bottom, I think this will be a cool little distro. Uh, it has a ton of tools actually. Uh, it has some tools uh, which I saw um, um, browsing before I made this video that are like I like I want to show you here. They're like development issues, as in a Qt designer and a HTML page, which you don't often often see. Um, they had this in there, Force Close Firefox, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, games, I skipped the first time around, so I didn't actually look at that. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Okay, so they got some some, some pretty cool games. Uh, they got cool scientific things in there. I quite like, actually. Um, let's see what they, else did they have. Well, the multimedia um, section is not that slim actually it's not that lean it's pretty beefy um it doesn't have the vlc which i would rather see but all right doesn't matter um and it had some things for your office to make graphs and all that stuff so that's pretty cool and then you have internet you have putty in here and you have qubit torrent which i've never used so i'm totally new to that and a web browser you can select a new web browser if you don't want the other one to be, and you can do that from here. I think you can go to I think so, other software, but as this can take a half hour, we're not gonna wait for that. And let's see if we can get some statistics. It's built on a 3.2 kernel. Um, I'm running a 64 bit version, and that's about it actually.
And he makes a dark star. Oh yeah. What a name. Um which was the other one? I don't think it's installed, but yeah, see I thought. Because I can do this, but it's not really correct to do, but who cares? Um CPU usage is, is pretty high right now, but that's because it's compiling the code, so that's not weird. Um I've given it a total of one gig of memory and it uses 500 MB swap it has not used swap at all and it uses about 512 500 around that so about half put it uh, in a wide range as it were so um, it uses about 50% memory and 100% CPU usage it's compiling code so I think this is pretty intensive and you still have easily have memory um, surplus to run an application to watch a movie or whatever in between. So all in all, I think this distro has potential. I certainly don't dislike it. The only thing I dislike are <laughs> these menus here because they're super huge and well, it's just frankly not appeasing to the eye. And the menu here, like the, the menus, actually, that's, that's the main problem. I think. How oh, the menus here? Well, yeah, the menus here are fine. If they could implement this in here, like this, the style, aesthetic of it, I think it will be a very wonderful distro indeed. Um, so yeah, this is Absolute OS. Uh, I believe it was 14. Let me see if I can, can I get that here, this information? Because like always, I get these distros from everywhere and nowhere well all right that didn't work at all that's immensely annoying um well i believe this is absolute os 14 below and yeah take do with it what you want actually um, cannot help but state that this should really be something that appeals to your um, design aesthetic as it were to be able to be not annoying um, so that's it